Right, just doing a bit of work on the bolt. I uh, need a place for the batteries to go. Well, I was saying before the battery count, you know, this is a GoPro, a GoPro Hero 7 Black. And from the day I bought it, I've had nothing but trouble with it. Bought it from Argos, um, took it back after about a month. Oh, they didn't want to know, they can't take it back. You, you'll have to get in touch with GoPro, uh, phone California, that's where the offices are. I said, but it's, it's not working. It's overheating, it keeps switching off. I tell you what, it pisses you off. They fobbed me off, fobbed me off, customer services, everything, did nothing. Phoned me insurance because I got an extra three years with it. They said, oh, you can't do anything with us because it's not 12 month old yet. Or your insurance only starts after 12 months. Anyway, it's not quite 12 months yet, so I'll be getting on to them. But uh, I believe that the GoPro Hero 4 is the better one, especially in low light conditions. All right, it doesn't have the stabilizing mode and all that, but if you're only using it for what I do, doing jobs like on a boat or playing around with guns and stuff, you know, doing some blogging, uh, it's all you need. In fact, my phone's better. Anyway, that's enough ranting about that. So, got the profile perfect for that piece of wood. Um, just going to try and see if this one fits uh, that I've just cut now. Right, I've cut this piece. It's going to go here. But, it's too high. So, I need to get the right distance apart from the other one parallel so that the batteries can fit on top. Um, I put a sensor line in. So I can make sure I'm lining it up okay. So what I did is I drill a hole in this block of wood here, I fit this felt tip in this here and then I hold that on there, follow the bottom of the bow and keep to that profile there and that transfers Oops. Transfers my shape onto this. Now then, keeping that centre line, the centre of the hole. Follow the shape of the bottom of the bowl, and <laughs> we shouldn't be too far off. It takes a couple of cuts to bring it down. I've made this a bit wider because once I get the profile of the boat I want to level this piece up with that piece and by using a thicker piece I can trim it off on the straight edge through my little circular saw and that way I've got it nice and level with that and then uh, it's only plywood but um, I'll use polyester resin and I'll paint all this timber with polyester resin, that'll waterproof the wood. And then I'll fiberglass it to the bottom and up the timbers uh, with fiberglass sheeting. That'll make this uh, perfectly waterproof. I'll cut uh, a couple of holes in the bottom here so if any rain did splash on this side it can drain back down. Same through the centre, these gaps there. And there's channels on the side of the boat here on the bottom that runs to the back towards the bilge pump. So that's the theory. And then when these are rock solid and all fiberglassed in, I'm going to start painting the inside. We're getting onto the paintwork then, sanding and painting. Um, I'll have to put a top on this with a lip. And then what you do is you have a couple of eyelets. 
of some kind, one at the back, one at the front, and when you put your batteries on, you buy a couple of cheap small tie wraps, and you tie wrap your batteries down. You can't slide about then if the water's choppy. All good. Uh, we'll have two batteries here. One's for the electric Yamaha outboard, and the other one will be for all the lighting. But eventually I'll get a four stroke outboard. So, uh, there'll only be one battery needed to be up here. Um, and then in front of it, I'll have a little tattle box for some bibs and bobs for fishing. So, as a plan, I'll go and cut this now and I'll be back and see if it fits. Right, let's cut these uh, this profile out now. Sand it down a little bit if they need to. the truth let's see if it fits well there we are it's uh it's a perfect fit and that's it that little block there with a pen in follow the profile of the uh, bottom of the boat and the pen transfers it onto the wood same with that one nice and tight Drainage holes there and then channels underneath it, same in the middle, same there. I will uh, cut that out a bit, make them a bit deeper, plenty of room there. So then too, I'll be fiberglassed in. All I need to do now is get the height of this to the same height of that. And then the batteries will sit nice and flat. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, let's try and get a level here, see how far off I am. I will, uh, sorry, sorry about that, showing you the ceiling. What I need to do is get that level and then measure the distance from that front one to the spirit level. Now where's my tape measure? I bet I've left it outside. And we're going to do it with this pen. The old fashioned way of that block. That block might be uh, near enough. Put it on its side. Not quite. Put it on its end. Too much. Right, put it back on its side. Let's put the, with the pen on top of the block. Sometimes 
sound you need more than one pair of hands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's another block. I'll put that one on its edge. It's a bit taller. Put that one on there. You know, it's just a midget, too low, just a midget. Let's see if I can lift it up. No, should I say too high? So if I come back here, say it's about 10 mil. So if I not 10 mil off the width of this block and cut that down that should be right I'm soon going to find out right I've just cut that the same distance apart and you see on the bubble there you see that bubble it's bob on so I'm pleased with that. So when they're glued in place, I put a piece across the top of just enough left. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to mess this piece up. And uh, yeah, I think there's enough with uh, the gaps in the center there as the boat slopes down the water, run to the, <clears throat> the center of the base and the water will run out. If it gets much in here. So as it will do if the uh, water's rough a bit, but there we are. So one step nearer. Uh, get these coated in resin, so that will seal them uh, waterproof, especially the edges, because it's only ply. Give it a good dose, and then plus it'll be covered in fiberglass uh, to strengthen them in there. And uh, yeah, we're on a winner then. I'll screw the top on. If I ever needed to take it off for any reason, I can do. I shouldn't have to. But, uh, really needs to be fiberglassed over the top and make everything 100% watertight. I'm not going to put anything under here anyway. So there we have it. Ideal. Anyway, that's that bit. Uh, tea's ready. So uh, we'll catch you shortly. Bye for now. Right, they're all coated both sides and the edges with acrylic. Just let them dry, it won't take long now. This is what I'm using, dry cell. Lloyd's approved resin. Yeah, it's good stuff. A little bottle, bottle of hardener with it. Just got enough hardener in there now to uh, fiberglass them in to the base of the boat. And that'll strengthen them then. Jobs are good in. Can't wait getting to painting it. I brought the timber over there for the edging strips here. Uh, there's um, what they call a wood resin hardener. Uh, for wood, it won't dint, scratch, you can hit it with an hammer, it won't mark it. So, once um, I've got a router, them timbers because of the lip on here, so it sits on the boat there, and the bit of router out will sit on here and it'll all be flush then, nice tight fit. And then at the front, I'll, I'll drill straight through and put six stainless steel nuts and bolts through, countersunk onto the front of the hull because that's the biggest bend there and uh, once I've got that secured in um, I'll gently ease them one, one bit at a time and screw them to this I'll have to clamp it in a couple of places do one side at a time so uh, let the wood shape I might even clamp it wet the wood and clamp it and let it dry there's less tension then isn't there when I screw it up I don't want it pinging off 
the last um, I don't want to use glue or anything like that this one I'm screwed in case it ever has to be replaced down the line down the years well that's the plan anyway so that'll do me I said I was going for my tea dinner before <laughs> I've not been for it yet you, you get involved uh, it's like get this step done and then I, I can get on to the next step then so I thought well cutting them out and getting that profile uh, was the important bit I've had to mark them so I knew which ones which where they go it's not rocket science it gets steeper and steeper that taper the nearer the front you get um, yeah so my cardboard in there cut uh, the template out of cardboard first that's it here <clears throat> and then I got near enough and then once I got a you know reasonable shape I could tr transfer it to the wood keep the wood a little bit wider so you know you can uh, trim the top off after yeah it's all worked out right it's time for something to eat now and uh, knock it on the head till tomorrow right catch you tomorrow guys bye for now